When Bamboo Lab released their fur printer, the X1C, it changed the 3D printing market in two big ways. First, it gave us fast, high-quality prints without all the usual headaches. No endless tweaking, no mods, no fighting with settings, just a printer that works and gives you consistent results. You could say something similar about Prufa, but they take a different approach and sit at different price point. Second, it brought multicolor printing through the AMS, the automatic material system. Yes, it had the drawbacks, slow filament swaps and a lot of purge waste. But even with that, it was still much cheaper than IDEX printer or machines with multiple toolheads. Personally, I am not a huge fan of printing full multicolor models. I mostly use the AMS to embed text into parts or add a little light diffusion window for indicators. But the main benefit for me is simple. I can pick any filament without walking up to the printer and swapping spools. Plus, the MS keeps filament dry, which is extremely important for the most materials. Unfortunately, the MS for the A1 series does not really meet my needs. It's also huge. It takes up as much space as a whole second printer. Recently, Bumble Up added support for the classic MS on the A1 lineup and introduced a new MS hub for the A1 and A1 Mini. As soon as I saw that, I started checking the website every day. First, the release date was set for the November 3rd, then moved to the 11th, and then to the 24th of the December, leaving me empty-handed. The MS Hub plays a key role. On the A1 series, the hub is built directly into the toolhead, but on the classic AMS, the hub monitors filament tension inside the tube and only feeds filament when the tension is high enough. To do this, the hub uses a spring system and a board that measures the tension. That's when I thought, what if I just use an AMS hub from the P and X series? A quick search on Maker World showed that people had already tried this, and it actually worked. After that, everything was simple. Finding an AMS hub in my city was surprisingly easy. I bought one, plugged it in, and it works right away. The printer detected instantly. Officially, Bumble Up does not recommend doing this, so if you try it, it's on your own risk. I also wouldn't recommend repeating it. I'm just sharing my own experience. To install it, you need to print a mount. I picked one that replaces the sock spool holder. Bumble Up strongly recommends powering it off before connecting any AMS units. I removed the original mount and installed a print on one. Then I attached the hub using the screws that came in the box. After that, I connected the hub to the printer with the included cable. It's a bit short, but the only impacts how it looks, not how it works. Of course, if you want, you can always buy a longer cable. After that, you need to disconnect the PTF tube from the filament guide and reconnect it to the MS hub. And from there, all that's left is to connect your MS unit to the hub and attach the PTF tube. That's it. After testing it for a few days, I can probably say that everything works the way it should. Well, that's all from me. If you didn't like the video, you know what to do. But if you enjoy my content, hit that like button and subscribe because there's plenty more interesting content on the way.